played at Temple Junior College from Canada. And that's Dominique Kirk. That's right. There you go. He played, uh, he started every game. He started every game of his college career. We signed him when we got the job in the spring. This is in the class of Joe Fultz. So Joe was in 2006. This kid was in 2006. Donald Sloan from Siegelville High School. Oh, we heard it someone's birthday today. That's sweet, man. You know? Happy birthday, sweet. Thank you. Woo! That, that's the, is that the weight room? It yes, is. It that's is. the weight room. We, we told him six. Oh, they're right. They're in there. <laughs> wow. Yes. That is so nice of you guys. What? Awesome. Looks good. It's cute. You guys look so cute. You can leave it on and take it. That's awesome. Tell me, what, what do you get about Texas a &M? Uh Maybe this comes across the wrong way, but as you were talking, the one thing that I would say is I'm one of them. Uh, I wasn't smart enough to be admitted uh, into Texas A&M, um, but I think Aggies, Aggie land, the traditions, um, I think all of that is super, super Cool. And I think that's part of the fabric of what this institution is and has always been about. I think there's an instant connection. Like uh, yesterday, obviously, was the first time I met Justin. And as soon as I shook his hand, I saw his ring. And then as we're flying from Virginia, it was the first time I'd met Stephanie. She's explaining to me the hand posture for who. And that it has something to do with your classification. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do tomorrow since I didn't go to school here? So uh, I think that I understand how important work is to them. I think I understand how important telling the truth is. I think I understand how being humble is a part of who you should be and what you should represent. So I don't mean any of that in an arrogant way. It just so happens that uh, I happen to be the head coach, but I could easily be somebody in the stands. And so maybe that's, they see uh, themselves in me and vice versa. It's bigger than any dream I had. I think my paradigm, um, the question that he asked at the start uh, at Navarro, I was a junior college manager. So just the path is so unique and I think my paradigm was so small that even what my dreams were, they were not anything as big as this. And so that's, that's but I feel that way everywhere I've been. Like I, I can't even believe this happened. I'm overwhelmed Daryl, uh, with emotion, positive emotion for this opportunity and really excited. Things have changed a lot. I haven't been back to College Station uh, since I left until last night when I landed. I had not been back, had not seen all of the things um, that have changed in a good way. This right here was not here when that, you were here. I, I, did, I didn't know, when we were pulling up to Reed Arena, I did not know any of this. Uh, and I, I didn't spend any time on the internet looking up pictures or anything like that, but uh, Coach texted me that, I talked to Coach uh, on the phone right before I got on the plane to fly here and uh, it's just so special uh, because of coach because of the players that were here because of the opportunity because I'm from the state my wife is from the state it's just uh, so unique and so overwhelmed with gratefulness but at the same time those kids and those families and staff at Virginia Tech and at Marquette without all of their work this, this would not have been an opportunity I would have been able to be a part of. We cannot thank you enough. Pleasure to see you. For, your, for coming to A&M. Yeah, thank you. We wish you the best of luck and thank you for your time tonight at 6. Good to see you. We'll see you, Coach. Thank Thanks you. again. You bet. Buzz Williams, the 22nd head coach at Texas A&M. We'll talk more about his hire coming up later in sports. Back to you guys.